Wednesday afternoon club. Are you excited? I'm excited. And the reason I'm excited is because we have our top five tips for managers to share with you today. So let's get to it. Tip number one, be a lifelong learner. Sometimes we get so caught up in the day to day, we forget to continue to expand our knowledge. And in my opinion, the number one area to always be improving upon and learning more about communication, something that we do day in and day out and is really a necessity for healthy teams and healthy leadership. So be a lifelong learner, especially in communication. Tip number two for managers, all about utilizing your resources. I think of it similar to a doctor who often uses reference books to look up dosages or techniques for procedures they haven't done before. Sometimes we forget that in management, it is about utilizing all the plethora of resources that we have. Everything from networking with other professionals to outsourcing services, using mediators, accountants, HR professionals. So don't forget to use your resources. Tip number three is probably one of my favorites. It's all about being a leader and not a boss. Boss has that connotation of negativity, unfortunately. And yes, we are bosses, but really focus on being a leader instead. Sometimes that can mean that you're the cheerleader for your team. Other times it means that you're leading by example. You wanna show people how you want them to behave. And sometimes it's really about getting out of your team's way and allowing them to do what they do best and really helping support them in their day-to-day instead of micromanaging everything that they do. So don't forget, be a leader instead of a boss. All right, so number four is to get a hobby. Don't forget that a healthy lifestyle is all about having a variety of different interests and activities that we do can't live 100% of your life in the practice or in your career. You need to have a balance. It's actually one of the things that I specifically interview for. I want to find out, do I have somebody that all they do is vet med? No, I don't want that type of person. I want somebody who has unique interests and activities and hobbies that they engage in. So management tip number four, get a hobby. Okay, tip number five is about a growth mindset. Constantly pushing yourself to grow, to change, to adapt. Stepping out of that comfort zone is a difficult thing to do without a doubt, but it is also one of the most rewarding things that I found as a manager is by trying new things, learning new things about myself, about my team, and making it uncomfortable. Because after all, we don't grow in our comfort zone. Push out of it and have that growth mindset. Come on, you knew I was going to have a bonus tip. So my bonus tip for managers, gratitude. Gratitude practice has countless benefits. By having this as part of your culture, part of your regular routine is going to make mounds and mounds of differences on your team. So work it into your morning huddle, practice it at team meetings, have resources and things available for your team to practice gratitude. It can take many forms and there's lots of different ideas for how to practice gratitude, but definitely every day gratitude practice for your team. Thanks for 
tuning in today to Friday Afternoon Club. I hope you found some valuable information today. Tips for managers, both new, old, everywhere in between, whatever stage you're at in your career. I hope you can find some use for these tips. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share this with other managers who you think could utilize some tips for managers.